Hello students, we have discussed the poetic form in our earlier lecture. Now it is another term that we are going to study and in the study we are going to study uh, one of the term that the study is centered on, on the one of the poetic form that is very popular and often it has some historical background in the sense a long lyric poem that is very uh, serious in his subject matter the poet has treated his subject matter with a serious treatment the poet has used the poetic composition in a very elevated and uh, highly oral and rhetorical way it stands for the elevated style at the same time the stanza structure is elaborate it's in detail form as we have seen that it's a critic Norman Maclean has said that the term now calls to mind a lyric which is a massive public in his proclamation and Pindaric in its classical prototype. As we have seen this term, as M. H. Abraham describes, the prototype was established by the Greek word Pinda, whose words were, were modeled on the songs by the chorus. The chorus was very famous in the uh, Greek drama. The term or the technique was used in a Greek drama and his complex stanza patterns in sets of three moving in a dance rhythm to the left. If the chorus is moving towards the left in a dance rhythm, the chorus chanted the strophe. And if the chorus dancing or moving towards the right direction, it is called as antistrophe. But if the chorus is standing still, it's an epode. So the ode or it is called as Pindaric ode or regular ode in English is written in a close imitation with the Pindas form. With all the strophes and antistrophes were written in one stanza pattern and all the epods in another. This form was introduced in English by Ben Johnson's ode to the immortal memory and friendship of that noble pair. Sir Lucius Carey and Sir H. Morrison. The typical construction can be conveniently studied in his poem or in Thomas Gray's The Progress of Poesy. The irregular road was again introduced by Abraham Colley in 1656 who imitated Pinda's time and the subject matter but he do away with he ignored Abraham Cowley ignored the elaborate standard structure and the standard structure disregarded in the strophic form instead Abraham Cowley wrote each stanza to establish its own pattern of varying line and lengths. Number of lines and rhyme schemes. This type of irregular stanza structure was introduced by Abraham Cowley, which is rather giving a free space, told us a freedom, according to the mood of subject, just a mood a sail, your subject is just a likana sail, theme a sail, tone a sail. Then it's a shift kernel. Hey, 
irregular or متشكل سهلة and this has been one of the most common form in English or William Wordsworth who wrote or intimations of immortality is a representative of such one Pindar who wrote encomiastic means it's in memory form recalling some past memories encomiastic that is they were written to praise and glorify someone in the instance of pinta the old celebrated a victorian um, victorious athlete in the olympic games the earlier english odes and many later one later odes were also written to praise and eulogize something john dryden any kilgrew or the arts of music of poetry dryden's alexander's feast or collins who you who wrote ode to evening or abstract concepts grace hymns to adversity wordsworth's ode to duty who perfected the english odes and romantic poets and romantic poets uh, perfected this personal ode of description and passionate meditation which not only interested but keep the stimulation an aspect of the outer scene and turns on the attempt to solve either a personal emotion problem and generally human one Wes was intimations out courageous dejection and out Shelley's out to the west wind are very famous examples of this romantic quotes recent examples of this latter type that we see by alented out to the confederate dead and Wallace Stevens idea of order at key west is a modern ought that valen steven had practiced there is as we see as we go horatian ode is another type of ode horatian ode was modeled on the matter tone and form by the roman poet horace this was the form features of his ode modeled tone and form of the odes in contrast the passion visionary boldness formal language of pindar's ode many horatian odes are calm meditative and colloquial they are also usually homostrophic that is written in a single repeated stanza form shorter than pindar's ode examples are marvel's horatian ode upon cromwell's written Keats's ode to autumn is the finest ode that we see for more on the ode english ode to 1660 this book will uh, prove very much useful history of ode by carol madison this also discusses the progress and history of the ode as a poetic form so in all we have uh, almost here three types of modes that we see first we have regular ode or pindaric ode having strophe antistrophe and standing still we have irregular ode that was also one of the deviation from the regular ode is irregular ode practice by abraham cowley there is certain deviation in subject matter stanza structure and patterns of line and length and rhyme scheme in the stanza form as we have seen there is third type of ode that is horatian ode and this horatian ode is modeled on roman poet horace they are gentle in contrast to passion with any boldness and formal language of pindar's odes horatian odes are calm 
they are meditative but at the same time the language is colloquial one that is written in a single repeated stanza form and they are mostly shorted or stanza form or such odes are very short one rather than pindaric odes in comparison to pindaric odes so like this we have odes as one of the poetic form and this poetic form we are going to study and or uh, said uh, study the example and we are trying to apply what is the features apply to our study of odes in our syllabus when we are going to study one of the poem out of our syllabus so like this we are going to come to the college for further understanding of the odes so with these words and uh, thank you all i would suggest you to the, to take the screenshot read out the uh, terms and a practice image of brahms book this book should be studied as a bible for our understanding so with these words i thank you all and keep learning and reading thank you